back to my channel. I am seriously so excited for this video today because I have transformed myself into Daenerys from Game of Thrones. I am obsessed with Game of Thrones and if you guys didn't already know, which I'm pretty sure the whole world knows because it is like the most watched show in the world, I feel, then it is the season premiere today, this Sunday. I am so excited and I was really inspired to do this video because... I just dyed my hair platinum. This is not a wig, this is my hair. So if you guys wanna see this Daenerys Khaleesi transformation, then keep on watching. Alrighty, first things first, before we dive into the makeup, we are going to transform my new bleach hair into Khaleesi. So I'm just gonna start off with a nice middle part. And then she always has these really pretty dainty wispy pieces hanging out around her face that are curled. So I'm just going to leave out some pieces near the front of my face. Next, I'm just going to section two parts on either side of my head for the braids. I am also referencing a photo of Khaleesi or Daenerys. Um, from Game of Thrones so that I can see exactly how her hair is styled. She always has nice pretty braids So I'm just doing some braids on either side of my head and I am doing a Dutch braid So a Dutch braid is different than a French braid because instead of braiding over you're braiding under so that you can really see the braid pop and then I'm just going to tie my braids with this nice little white elastic. Moving on to the top part of my hair doing the exact same braid and then moving on to the other side. I really want my braids to look nice and exaggerated, so I'm just taking my time and pulling it out each side so that it looks really, really nice and voluminous and my braids look super thick. And then I'm just using an elastic and tying these behind my head just so they are pinned away and off my face. I'm teasing my hair with a comb just to give it a little bit of volume and more texture, more fullness, and then I'm gonna go straight ahead and start waving my hair with my half inch curling wand. So I'm doing this away from my face, that way everything looks nice and blown out and soft, and I'm not holding it on for too long because I don't want the waves and curls to be super, super tight. I just wanna give it a really messy, nice, beachy look. Alrighty, moving on to the makeup. I'm using my favorite Smashbox Primizer. I love this primer because it just gives you so much hydration and it's not sticky. Then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I love this because it just gives you like an airbrushed finish and it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, it just looks like your skin. I get so many compliments on this foundation. I'm throwing on my Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm really quickly. Moving on to the brows, Daenerys' brows are obviously very, very prominent and very easy to recognize. So I wanted to make sure that I got the brows as best as I could. So I was actually brushing down my brow hair to make my brows a little bit more straight. She has very, very straight brows. So I'm actually going underneath my natural brow hairs to really, really make my brows look as straight as possible. I'm also adding to the illusion by using my Benefit Brow Gel and I'm brushing my brow hairs downwards to really eliminate my arch. Moving on to concealer. So we aren't doing the regular highlight and contour that you would typically do with your makeup routine. Although it is similar, I am really paying attention to Daenerys's facial features and kind of highlighting my face in areas that I typically wouldn't highlight. I am extending this onto my forehead because her forehead is a little bit larger than mine and I'm also bringing it this further down on my cheeks to kind of elongate my cheeks. Next up, I'm going to be contouring. Her cheeks are a little bit fuller, lower down on her face, so I'm kind of just really paying attention to her facial features and bringing the contour lower down onto my face so that I can resemble Daenerys better. And I'm also going to be chiseling out my jaw. She has a really nice defined jawline and it goes into a little bit of a point which I am trying to extend my chin and make my chin look a little bit more prominent. 
Moving on to the nose contour, she has a lot of shadow right close to her brow bone where I'm focusing the contour shade. So I'm really, really deepening up this area and just taking my time with this blend so it looks really nice and natural. And it's always helpful to take a step back, look at yourself in a mirror in different angles, and that's how you can kind of see the whole look to come together and see where you want to tweak. Highlighting and contouring is so important whenever you're recreating a look like this. So her nose goes a little bit longer than my nose, so I am just highlighting that with concealer to kind of extend my nose. And I'm really just taking my time with this and trying to get it to match as best as I can to Daenerys' nose, so reference photos are so important. So now I'm going to go into my Makeup Forever Cream Blush. I love this blush, especially for a natural look, which she always is rocking the really soft natural look, so I'm just blending this in with my finger. Moving back to that contour shade, I'm gonna use the middle color and I'm just gonna start warming up my eyes. It never really looks like she has makeup on, it just kinda looks like a natural glow from within. So I didn't wanna do anything that was too intense, but I'm just adding a little bit of definition back into the eyes. And then I'm gonna pick up this Burberry Coal Eyeliner and I'm putting that right at the lash line and then I'm just buffing it out with my fingers. So it's nice and easy, but it just helps define your eyes a little bit more. I'm also going to run a little bit of a contour shade right underneath my eyes to kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger and more bulgy. I'm going to pick up my NARS Orgasm blush and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid as well just to help warm up my eyes and bring back some warmth to it. I'm going to go into my Burberry Ultra Black Mascara. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's super tacky and just really, really can make your eyelashes transform and I'm just going to really coat my eyelashes on the top and bottom. Next, I'm using this Benefit Highbrow Highlighter in my waterline just to help open up my eyes. She has really, really nice, gorgeous blue eyes, so this will really help open them up. Next up, I'm going to go into this highlighter shade from my contour palette, and I'm highlighting right underneath my brow bone. I'm really, really trying to make my brows look as straight as possible and highlighting underneath them to kind of straighten them out even further. So Daenerys has gorgeous, big, voluptuous lips, which I literally cannot stop staring at when I'm watching the show. So I'm just going to be contouring my lips so that they look super big. And then I'm also just going to bring a little bit of that contour around my nose and just kind of making slight tweaks to my face to really, really help this character look come together. I'm going to go back into my lips and I'm just using my ColourPop BFF lip liner. She never has any lip color that is super prominent so I'm using something fairly natural. And then I'm going to go back into that Makeup Forever Cream blush just to add a little bit of color to the very center of my lips. guys so here is the finished look let me know what you thought down below if you think I transformed into Daenerys and head over to my Instagram Julie Dantis Beauty I'm gonna be tuning in to the premiere tonight and we can chit chat about what we thought about the premiere and all of that fun stuff and if you want to be notified every single time I post which is once a week click the bell in the top right corner and you can be updated thank you guys again so so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video bye I'll take care of you.